Okay, got it. All right, so I'll just uh, restart over. A very good afternoon to Miss and my fellow classmates. Today, we're going to be doing a um, sharing session based on the topic of to realize your ideal career. So just to share uh, who are the group members, it consists of Mok, Ket Wei Xian, and of course, Kaishan and myself. All right. So a brief introduction to what we're going to be doing today and to understand. So this sharing session will be broken down into um, two parts, which is getting to know yourself. And once that's done, it leads to how you choose your ideal career. So basically steps to realize your ideal career. So just a little introduction. Back in about April 5th, we joined a masterclass on LinkedIn. Uh, there was a site and it's called Dream Role Masterclass. So Dream Role Masterclass, what we are actually uh, supposed to do uh, or what the outcome is, is basically to understand a more about oneself, about your individual. And for those who are feeling stuck, for those who do not know what is the next step or to take uh, in the next phase in life, in terms of once you graduate, in terms of when your internship, this is what we're going to be sharing with you guys based on what we understand. And um, of course, there's going to be some group activities later. And I do appreciate if everyone uh, give their utmost um, participation for it. All right. So let's get started. So getting to know, uh, let's move on to the first session. Uh, getting to know yourself. Okay. Before I begin, how much do everyone here knows themselves? Like, do you know yourself? Okay. So I'll give you a scenario. Okay. Given if you have $1 million with you, all right, $1 million with you, what would you do with that money? So you guys can feel free to unmute yourself or just use the chat box. Go. I'll give you guys about one minute or like 30 seconds to do it. Invest. Okay. All right. Cool. Cool. What else? Travel. Travel. Okay. Travel the world. All right. Save it. Invest in travel. Okay. Most of it around, revolves around that spectrum. Okay. What else? <clears throat> Travel. Okay. Now let me let me, let, let me buy a house. Okay, that's something that's something new investments, travel funds. Okay, great. So let me let me shape let me shape the question a little bit different. Um since most of us, since most of you guys uh said travel, where are some of the places you guys want to go? Could it be a dream place? Could it be uh, uh somewhere you have, you want to go for a long time already? So just just type it down. <clears throat> Heaven. Maldives. Oh, that's lovely. That's a lovely place. Some more, some more. Iceland. Okay. Europe, Norway, New Zealand, Argentina. Wow. Okay. Bora, bora. Oh, that's nice. Switzerland. Oh, okay. Great. All right. Just keep, just keep the chats coming in and our moderators will, 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 will take note of that. Yeah. So if I miss any questions, guys, just let me know. All right. So um, in terms of um, why we want to ask to know yourself, right? Actually, in life, there's a lot of things that we want to do. And we tend to think that we know ourselves based on what we do on a day-to-day -day basis. But actually, is it true? Not really, right? Because the reason why we want to know is because as a group, we wanted to understand and analyze that. Given a situation or given a, a, an opportunity, do you guys know what to do with it? Do you guys know what you guys want to achieve with that, that, that um, given the, the situation, right? So what does it mean to be one true self, right? Like many people will tend to believe that they, they want to be someone or they have a purpose because of what they have gone through. So this could be past experience, number one. Number two could be because of an influence they have received over the past few years or so by uh, a role model, by their parents or whatnot. So this is one of them, all right? And most of it, right, uh, we get to understand our true self based on what we see on a day-to-day -day basis. So is it just me or, or, or I'm easily influenced based on situation? So let's say if um, I watch a movie, right? I have, I have wild imaginations. I'll tend, to, I'll tend to imagine myself, man, I'm, I'm like a superhero based on what movie I watch. So that's just me, okay? That's just me. So in some people, they may be different, okay? So uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna do something a little bit more uh, uh, specific now. Um, since Zoom, right, okay, Zoom allow us to rename ourselves. I think you've seen this somewhere. Um, if you could describe one word currently, right, uh, that, that best describe the present moment that you guys are going through right now, what would it be? <clears throat> Go. Again, you guys can unmute it so it's easier for, for us to, to, to talk. 
uh, and it's easier for us to uh, chat lah, uh, compared to the chat. But okay, anyways, go ahead. Tumba says stress, tired. Okay. Yes, says tired. Who else? Grateful. All right. Stressed. Okay. Stressed, excited. Woo, great. This is excited for what we're doing. Stressed, anxious, tired. Okay, all right. So I think we have uh, loss. Okay, all right, all right. Okay. So based on what we have seen here, overwhelmed, great. <laughs> uh, so based with what we have seen here, right, a lot of the, the feelings we have currently revolves around, uh, I would say, I think we all can agree to a negative side, except for some that gives a happy, excited. You know, these, these are some of it. But for those who are feeling stressed, tired, anxious, uh, we would like to get to know more a, li a little bit more and we hope that this can actually share out in a bit. Lah. Assignments and exam time. Yes, definitely. We have exams in about two to three weeks time and oh my goodness. But okay, yes. So the reason why we're doing this, right? Uh, we wanted to know why why, why you guys are feeling stressed. But of course, due to the due to the, the demand of exam is coming up soon. Hence, we know why. Lah, all right. So based on that, hold, hold on to that thought, yeah. So I'm going to be sharing with you four steps on how you could actually learn to understand yourself even better. Okay, specifically, I use these four steps. Yeah, um, not too long ago, I used this four step in terms of understanding myself, especially with the help of professional development. Of course, thanks, Miss. We also uh, know what it is like. Okay, to 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 understand oneself. So number one is basically to listen to yourself. So step one. So what does this mean generally? Is to understand to how you are. Uh, to understand what you want in life, okay? Listening, your, listening to yourself can vary from like um, sitting down and taking a, um, a step back in life in terms of what you guys want to do, all right? So many people have broad uh, mission and visions. Many people have big goals they want to achieve. But what are we going, what are we going, uh, what are the steps we are taking in order to achieve that big goal? So one of the things which I suggest, uh, one of the things which I could suggest is meditation. To be honest, I'm still learning on how to meditate, me meditate properly on how to fully utilize it. But um, I tend to revolve around uh, music. So for example, those uh, lo-fi music on Spotify without any lyrics and uh, yellow light, yellow dim light. These are my two things which I do mostly at the end of the day. After a long day, I would tend to do, especially uh, a tiring day, I will tend to reflect with what I do. Uh, with what with what I had gone through today so that it does not happen the next day. So that is the first step which you guys should do. Listen to yourself in what it was because there's no point in pushing yourself, push, uh, pushing yourself to the max, but you, there's no direction in what you guys want. So understanding yourself, number one, is very important. So come up with a plan, come up with a goal. Uh, again, we have learned this before. We can use um, our uh, SWOT analysis. We can use our uh, with whatever we want. Uh, as, as a platform for us or like a vision board and whatnot. So moving on next is uh, taking control of your happiness. So taking control of your happiness is basically once you have achieved what you want, step one, uh, once you achieve what you want, um, it comes, right? So it's, it's a psychology, it comes, it makes us feel happy. When it makes us feel happy, what, what, does, what, does, um, the, what does the term... When, when someone feel overexcited, right? What, what is the term that, that comes out? What, what do you feel after that? Like some people don't realize it, but it's actually there. What, 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 what do you guys think? Like when you're too happy, what, 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 what word does it come to your mind? Like after you, like when you're too excited. Most people will call it high. Uh, hyper, correct. Hyper, yes, that's one word as well. Um, but what, uh, try to go to the negative side. What do you guys think? Like if you get too, uh, yes, correct. So uh, I think Bong has given an example. What, what do you guys think? It starts with E and ends with the O. I mean, it's disappointed. Okay, all right. Uh, also can. Well, that's one of it. Kelvin, that's it. You're right. Ego, correct. So ego, we think, will come in, 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 in our minds subconsciously without us getting to know that I'm being egoistic. Because once you're happy, you're, you're in a position whereby, oh, I've already reached my maximum. I'm not saying maximum. I've already reached a potential whereby I know I can achieve, so I, I can, you know, be egoistic a bit. Most of us don't know that we're actually being egoistic because, again, like I said, it, it happens subconsciously. So this is where taking control of your happiness comes into play. So, yes, we all have a happy, a happy spot in life, but we need to ensure that we grab hold of those happiness properly uh, and not let it lose while, all right? Yep, uh, keeping the time is. So next one is prioritizing your own needs. In terms of prioritizing your own needs, 
<clears throat> we have to differentiate what is the needs and what we want in life. Sometimes the wants can turn to a need as well. I want this because I feel like I need it. It's just a feeling, right? But we need to understand by prioritizing it based on what we have gone through in terms of our first step, listening to yourself, taking control of your happiness, and the third one, basically uh, to prioritize your needs. Lah. All right? Last but not least, the fourth step is to learn to let, to learn to let go. In life, we get criticized um, easily, be it a good criticism, a bad criticism. Even in class, we get criticized. I wouldn't say criticized. Even in class, we get feedback from our lecturers, from our classmates. So learning to let go is, is, is an important uh, uh, way on how we're going to keep ourselves going. So let go of the, of the negative thoughts and bring in good thoughts. So positive thoughts. So what is your positive mind? So these are some of the ways uh, which you get to know yourself a little bit better. So these are the four steps, okay? So now let me move on to um, let Weisian express a little bit more about finding your potential before we go, before we dive into the um, ideal career. So this is session one. Moving on to um, Weisian. So before I then you how to know, uh, how to find your potential, uh, how, how to find your potential and why is the skill that you're good at. I need, I need to let you know about uh, why is your hard skill and the soft skill that you're good at. So firstly, I explain about the hard skill. So actually hard skills are technically abilities with a technical and specific knowledge that you obtain through the life experience and the education of practice. Basically, basically it's like the knowledge that you learn from other people you have a lesson to learn a certain knowledge. So for example, if you like work in a food service, uh, you may know how to use the sales system of selling the food. If you like, have taken an accounting class, you know, you have you already know about how to use the Microsoft Excel, Microsoft Excel to calculate the money. If you uh, have a lesson of learning a foreign language, you have the skill of speaking a certain foreign language fluent. Uh, smoothly. So, for us, why is why why is very important to uh, identify the hard skill that you could have because uh, some of uh, some of the industry uh, require you have uh, uh, basic hard skill knowledge there for requirement for the career. For example, uh, so this is the hard skill that. This is the example of the high school that I give as, for example, the technical skill, writing skill, analytical skill, marketing skill, leadership skill, and design skill. This, this hard skills is like uh, learn by, uh, learn, you learn in a lesson or learn, uh, you are taught by other people. So I already list out uh, seven hard skills that you will be used in the workplace. So first is the data skill and uh, you need to like collect the information and at least the data, design skill, graphic design, web design, UI design, and user design. Marketing skill, management skill. Management skill, you need to know the best uh, business knowledge, finance, accounting, and team management. Uh, writing skill, especially for the PR job, writing a media release, uh, backgrounder, public speaking, and the last one is scheduling. This skill show how you how to manage organizing internal affairs of a team. You see, this skill is uh, hard skill is uh, learned uh, for a certain lesson. So can you? So I give you one minute. Can you guys? Can you share me? Uh, why is the hard skill that you have, or why is the skill that you have learned by the outside or taught by other people, or why is the hard skill that you have used in the uh, past time? For example, we work in an internship. Video editing, communication skill, creative writing. Uh, yeah, so, yeah. Communication skills. Yeah, so for example, like uh, Limala said, if you do editing, yes, like 
this hard skill is like uh, you learn from an uh, online lesson, online uh, online class, graphic design, yeah, content creator. So after you know uh, why is the hard skill, then I explain about why the soft skill. So soft skill are uh, uh, individual characteristic traits and habits of a person that shed who or to shed you who you are. Basically, is uh, your personality, your characteristic, the knowledge, your, your own knowledge that have not taught by other people, your own, your own skill. So why it's very important or very so soft skill because uh, some of the employers are, are likely to, some of, the, some, some of the employers are likely to select the person who has stronger set of the soft skill over the hard skill. Well, because uh, although the hard skill is very uh, necessary to like successful perform the technical task in a job, uh, and also uh, soft skills are necessary to uh, create a pos positive and functional work environment. So because for this reason, uh, I believe we will like uh, search for the for search for the people who have a soft skill and hard skill. Uh. And So for example, so some jobs are who did, uh, for example, so some of the jobs like human resource, but you, but you lack of the knowledge of data analysis, you can like uh, have the reason to explain about why is your soft skills such as uh, communication, open minds, uh, how to empathy with other people. So this is the example of the soft skill, like problem solving skill, leadership skill, listening skill. So, I list out the three uh, same three same three same soft skill that will be used in workplace is communication skill, uh, adaptability skill, and problem solving skill. It's very important to you to have a soft skill when you have a team with to uh, cooperate with other people. So, can you share with me about why is uh, why is the soft skill that you have? Why is what? Sorry. Uh, soft skill. Why is what? What? Why is the soft skill that you have? Uh, your personality, your characteristic, your knowledge that you have, uh, didn't taught by other people. Maybe he's trying to ask like, what soft skills that you have, Farida? Is it? Yeah. What soft skills do I have? So. Somebody want to share first? Yeah, yeah, I could definitely start it. Um, so I think, <laughs> I think, I think um, my communication skills and my persuasion skills. Uh, so yeah, I think these are the two um, soft skills that um, hardly identify who I am, if that's your question. Okay, so yeah, this uh, communication skill and that you're good at. Yeah. So, okay, after I explain the hard skill and soft skill, and then I teach you uh, the three methods or idea of which hard skill or soft skill that you're good at. So, firstly, is like think about your past, uh, but think about your past accomplishment and feedback for your soft skill. So, for example, like people who have pressed you. Uh, your, your hard skill especially that you're good at. The teacher has uh, pressed you about you have a good presentation skill or you have a teaching skill by teaching other people of a certain knowledge. So the second method is identify what the hard skill or the soft skill that you love to do. Because people tend to be good at what they love. Uh. If you love, uh, if you love how to write, uh, if you love how to write, you have a high skill of the writing skill. You love the mathematics, you are very sensitive to calculate the mathematics better than other people. So the third method is uh, which hard skill and soft skill are very naturally, naturally to you. Like for example, uh, think about, remember, think about the social situation, team collaboration or a major life event where you just know how to handle the situation without think, without much additional thing. It is natural, naturally to you. So you guys can, uh, 
So you guys can you guys can list out your hard skill and soft skill uh, based on the method that I taught to you. Uh, Chris. So I pick one of the people to to once to once to identify why it's a hard skill soft skill. Uh, Christy. Wong oh, Sen say for me, hard skill is editing skill and soft skill is communication skill. Okay, most of them say premium. Yeah, for example, uh, especially for more idea, uh, he love to uh love to editing the video. For example, like Premiere Pro, After Effect. So soft skill is a uh, pr uh personality a characteristic. Actually, he's very friendly to like talk with other people. Okay, so. Uh, this uh, I already explained about uh, how to uh, identify your hard skill and soft skill. Then I pass it to Mosa Hussain to explain more about uh, how to realize your ideal job. The same, same step. Okay, so finally it's my turn now. <laughs> identify your ideal career, guys. So, uh, next slide, please. Uh, hello? Okay, so... Before we list out what you what we want to do in the future, right? As actually identify our ideal career should be done before we enter university, you know. So let me ask you guys a question. So you can open mic to talk to me. Like I think you guys got thought before. Do you think about uh to changing your currently education mass comm to another field? Do you have a regret? Like uh I I hope I can realize earlier that. For example, I hope I can realize earlier that I want to become motion graphic designer, so I will register for design and art college that specifically teach me on design aspect. So did you have any regret? I don't think so. Really. <laughs> of course, I uh, think most of the people got regret. Come. I don't now, think so for me because absolutely. like, yeah, MassCom is the right choice for me. Instead of like those business thing, marketing, mathematics, and uh, science things, I don't think I can afford this. And the mass comp, I think it's the best choice for me. Until now, I still yeah, I think it's good for me. I uh, yes. totally agree okay. with Fish. Yeah. Um, I don't think I would fit anywhere. Else. I, I won't say I won't fit anywhere else, but I, I think I'm very passionate about mass comp and PR. So I know I wouldn't change it. Okay, good, good. So you, you, you guys are the group with, uh, you guys already know what you guys need. So yes, that's good. Uh, for another, if I ask another question uh, in, in, in another way. So you study degree MESCOM till now already uh, last sem or the last second sem for us. Uh, like what you want to do in the future, is it related to what you study now? Yes, it's related. It's related, right? It's related. Mm. Because I want to become a like PR officer or talent management or those who are managed in social media things. That what I've learning learning now. So I think this can help me in my future and it's what I want to do. Yeah. So okay, okay. So uh do you guys even go do research for your internship already? Like, what each company do you want to join or anything? Do you guys start to research now? Because two months after two months, we need to go to internship already. Or do you guys do research now? Start from now already? Or before that, you already start? Give me a smile if you start on searching. Yes, 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 yes start yes, yes, already. Yes, now. Uh, uh, yeah, good, good. But uh, still... I think 
still in a minority la, for the people who start searching for their company. A uh, big majority still don't have any idea. Okay, so why, why I mentioned about this question? Because this is very important to identify uh, what working environment you actually need and you actually need to get uh, understand on uh, what actually your ideal job is. If you don't know what you are doing uh, for your future career, for your future career job. So how do you gonna uh, exercise your, your skills or your mindset? You, you don't know how to start, you don't know how to begin with. So uh, for, for my best advice, uh, for, 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 the, for, the, for the workshop uh, host, best advice, best advice uh, for us, a bit similar like where, where we learn from uh, Miss Cheryl class, which is quickly Google search. It, now we, inside a digit, we live at a digital era, we can easily assess a lot of emotion on internet. So if you identify which company you want to join, then go and quickly search uh, whether from, uh, get information from a uh, job searching website or, or their official company uh, webpage, then you can know what is their requirement, what, what job offer the company have provided for you for your ideal career. So knowing the job offer, you can, and can also guide you in learning your new set. So you know where to begin with, what you want, what you need to learn in order to match 100, in order to meet 100% of the company needs before you went to the interview. Okay, so uh, if better, la, you can also join web webinar or workshop, which Ms. Cheryl always teach us, uh, join a webinar and workshop related to our profession and then ask more questions Ask as much as question we can. Eh? Ask as much as the question we can. Like an interview, like Basically, you like an interview. You think about you think you think your question before you went to the workshop, and then you ask them about uh, their career path, and you can receive very useful advice from the professional and all those CEO or management. So, after you get to know your job more, deliver develop your mindset or skill set by comparing your strength just now, your hard skill and soft skill, right? With the job requirement, so if you not, if if your has if your has skill is not uh, compatible with the job requirement, then you know when you want to start to uh, start your new skill. Like you can learn your new skill from YouTube tutorial, read books more, workshop and online masterclass. Set a goal, set a smart goal for your uh, skill development to ensure you always on your progression. And if you have trouble to keeping up with your uh, goals, right? You could find a partner. Uh, let's welcome Kaisan to elaborate more for you why we should find a partner. Okay, hello guys. Okay, so basically, um, after you're getting to know yourself and you analyze what skills that you have, your hard skills and soft skills, and you know, you're starting to analyze and realize what your ideal career is, that's a, I'm here to give you a, a hint. Okay, or a suggestion that you should actually get yourself a partner. Okay, why? Because in terms of professionality, I mean, we're working in an industry. Actually, you want to fit it faster. You don't have to work alone because why? Uh, we human are actually weak. We are we are not perfect. We got flaws. We got emotion. You know. So that's why, and we are not we are not uh, an expert or master in every area. That's why we need to get ourselves a partner or I'll change the term not necessarily a partner it could be a mentor or be a coach to guide you lead you or be with you when you are down you know so I'm I'm okay can you guys try to share some experience of being coach it could be anything uh, it could be when you're learning musical instruments or uh, sports or anything anyone anyone try to say, share some experience that uh, the, the, the difference between the difference between when you have a coach or you don't have a coach or you experience some uh, uh, something with a friend or without a friend, you know, with a partner or without a partner. Can everyone share the, yep. the experience? Okay. Can I? Can, sure. Okay. So um, I think I have a couple of, of, of situations in mind, but I would go for the most critical. Um, so then you could get to understand more about how critical a coaching was to me and, and how it impacted me. Um, so this, uh, this one time when I decided to climb Everest and 
we had to be very, very well trained. And um, since I was the youngest uh, for my for my group, I was the youngest, and and my the coach had to consider me like with an extra mile. And <clears throat> um, I remember very well that she used to train me um, that before I go sleep, I need to take off my socks before I sleep in my sleeping bag to avoid. She didn't explain during that time. She said, it's just for your safety. You need to, to take off your shoes and you need to, like she gave me certain instructions to do. And I think I did not follow that. Um, and I depended on to moving forward without her, her guidance or her coaching through what I should be doing. I didn't drink enough for, uh, water during that day. I remember it was 14 days and that day I didn't drink enough water and I went sleeping and I didn't take off my socks. And then it resulted into have, uh, I had a frostbite when I was sleeping because the socks were obviously wet because I was wearing it all day. So I didn't take it off. I didn't drink enough water. My body couldn't keep up. And then I had a frostbite. So I think this is a very, very small insight that impacted my life so much that being guided and being coached and having someone um, that is expert into a certain field and you being mentored by him or her is something that is very, very important for us to follow and to lean down our ego and to accept that we're all here to learn. So yeah, this is for my input. Okay, very good sharing. Thank you, Farida. Okay, so um, I, I guess most of you people can imagine uh, why we need a coach or a partner. Okay, I have a question that... Uh, how many people think that you guys are very self-disciplined? Okay. Uh, anyone in the chat box? Anyone think you're very good to control yourself, your emotions, your actions, your thoughts? Okay. For me, actually, I'm, I, I, for my understanding, self-discipline is only for a very small group of person that could achieve. So uh, why, I, why I'm suggesting you get a partner to, to when you are finding your ideal career because finding a partner I, it actually lets you to fit inside the environment you know because people setting them in a different environment can significantly change our behavior for example um, back to secondary school I'm able to wake up 6 a.m in the morning but it's impossible right now why because the school has the rules we have to the class start at 7 30 and I'm a part I'm a, I'm a student and I'm a part of the school that's why when I'm trying to fit in the environment, I'll follow the rules and try to fit everything to change my behavior. That's how we keep consistent or being uh, positive to in our work. Okay, you know. So, um, but there's somebody has a concern because they're thinking, um, uh, I, I I don't feel that I need a coach. Or I don't need a partner. But that's actually uh, not that right for me. Okay, because uh, for example, when I first getting the course diploma in mass communication, okay? Most of the assignment that requires us to create a video, shoot a video, but before that, we didn't take any course to teach us how to edit video, how to use any software or that. So uh, we might, the, the student in Malaysia, may, maybe we create a mindset that, okay, I could done everything by myself. I could Google it. I could get everything by the internet, but actually you are very hard to identify which information is correct or not. That's why we need to, uh, get ourselves a partner or mentor, at least someone with you to, to you know, giving some suggestions, sometimes to analyze which is right or wrong, okay? So uh, I think I'll explain well that why we should get a coach and I'll give you some steps that makes you know uh, after what, 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 what you should do, okay? So uh, after you're trying to find some partner in the environment, you're trying to fit yourself, you probably feel uncomfortable, feel insecure. And that's right, because you're trying to step, step up your comfort zone, okay? So uh, the first thing I have to do is after you uh, have to uh, de determine the, the activities that will help, and then you have the plan, you should visualize the outcome, okay? Then you know what to do. And better to do all decisions before you start your plan. That's how we uh, make sure everything run by the plan and you should start the plan in a daily basis with your partner or your mentor or coach. Okay, that's all for my part. Thank you.
Okay, so uh, basically we, we have a good activity at, at the end, uh, but we, since we don't have time, we will proceed this good activity uh, in, in, in what apps? Uh, we will send to what apps group and then we will help on what apps, okay? Hope you guys can participate us, right? Okay. Okay, so I think that's all for our group presentation. So sorry for wasting too much time. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you, guys. Yeah, good sharing. I love this moderation so much.